Hey there, Sam here. Welcome back to another Kestrel Elite video. This one's going to be all about building gun profiles in the Kestrel, as well as managing them once you get them there. Okay, the Kestrel Elite will hold 16 different uh, rifle and ammunition combinations, so uh, whether you want to have 16 different guns on there, or, you know, two guns with eight different combinations of ammo between them, it doesn't matter. You can have 16 different combinations. There's three different ways to import or build gun profiles on the Kestrel Elite. Number one is just to do it right here on the unit itself. Number two is to use a USB cable hooked up to your computer. You'll need the upload, uh, profile uploader, build number 42. And what you do is you just plug in this cable to the little infrared eye on the back of the Kestrel and then you plug the other end in your USB port and you're off to the races. You cannot do that wirelessly on a computer anymore. The third way, and the way I use the most, is right here with the phone. You get the Kestrel Ballistic Link app, and you build all your profiles right here on your phone, and then you export them to the Kestrel. Okay, before I go out and start building some profiles on the Kestrel, uh, I want to talk a little bit about this cable. Uh, on the Kestrel 4500AB, you could do a lot of uh, things with it on a PC with a Bluetooth setup from the computer to the Kestrel 4500AB. With the Kestrel Elite, about all you can do wirelessly is the firmware updates and you have to have a dongle so that it will recognize it as a Bluetooth device. I would recommend you get the USB cable if you want to do any work on your PC with the Kestrel Elite. You don't need it, you can do it all on your phone, but if you want to do any work uh, importing or exporting or firmware updates from your PC, I would highly recommend this cable rather than trying to do uh, one thing Bluetooth and then one thing through a cable. Okay, to build a gun profile or manage your guns on the Kestrel itself, you need to be in the ballistics mode. We're going to go down, see it says new gun, there is no gun loaded into it yet. We're going to go down here to our manage guns, click on that, and there's new gun. You can go up and you can rename new gun, uh, highlight on it, and then use arrows to change the name. The next one down is your muzzle velocity. I highly recommend that you actually measure your muzzle velocity with a good chronograph rather than uh, shooting shots and then reverse engineering it. Uh, it's just not good practice in my mind. I like to use a good chronograph and have some good foundation. Okay, then the second one is going to be your drag model as G1, G7, or custom drag. The custom drags, there are several 30 cal bullets in here and a few big 338 bullets. As long as you have custom drag model uh, highlighted on here, the BC is always going to be 1. It's proprietary information. So let's back out. We'll use a G7. This is your BC. You're going to have to know what your BC is, and then you adjust it with the side arrows. Uh, bullet weight, uh, bullet diameter, bullet length, a zero range, however, what distance you want to zero it to, uh, your bore height or your sight height. This is your zero height, so if you have an, an offset, in other words, if you're running a couple different kinds of ammunition, but you want to use one profile, or if you're using a suppressor and then not a suppressor, you can set this up to have an offset on your zero. You'll have to build a whole other profile, but it can be done. And it's pretty cool if you're using the same gun and you're running, uh, say, one suppressor or multiple suppressors or a couple different kinds of ammunition with it, that change the zero of the weapon, you do not have to change your zero on your gun. You can use the Kestrel to give you a, a offset on the zero according to whichever ammunition you're using. You just have to remember to get into the right screen before you start doing it. But here's where you adjust that. There's the offset right or left, zero height is up or down. Uh, rate of twist, uh, which direction that's twisting, uh, what kind of units that you're going to use for your elevation. It's, it comes uh, as mills as a default. There's true minute of angle. There's shooter's minute of angle. I always use minute of angle, so I put it on TMOA. Uh, there is no click. I don't want to mess with clicks. I'm just using minute of angle. And then the same thing with the windage. You can set it uh, whichever direction you want. You can go uh, one for, you know, elevation can be minute of angle and your windage can be uh, mills if you want to. 
Okay, and then here's where your calibration screen is for your drop scale factor, and then there's where you can view it, and then this is where you can delete it. We'll just delete it, select yes, no guns. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do it with the phone. Okay, to build a profile with the Kestrel Lynx Ballistic app on the phone, you can just go into Gun Profile Management. Here are the profiles that I already have on the phone. To add one, you just hit the plus button. Right up here is where you name it. And when you click on that, you can just use your keypad down there at the bottom, which is way easier than using the left right arrows on the Kestrel. Okay, and then you have a bullet database built right into the app. Uh, it has a lot of bullets in it. So let's go ahead and go, let's play with the 260 a little bit. It shows 51 bullets for 264. So let's go to Burger. It's got all the Burger 260 bullets built right in. We'll go to the AR Hybrids, and it lets you select a drag model, G1, G7, AB custom curve. We'll go ahead and do a G7. It uh, automatically populates it with the 287 and the G7 slot here, and it automatically populates a length of bullet for you. And then you just scroll down and start changing whatever you need to. So here's your feet per second, your zero range, sight height, zero height, offset, twist rate, your scope data, just like in the Kestrel Elite. You also have a muzzle velocity temperature table so that you can uh, have different brackets of uh, say your powder is temperature sensitive, you can change your, uh, your velocity table right here if you know what it is for temperature. And that's about it. When you get done, you just save it, and it's a new profile on your phone. Then if you ever need to upload it to your Kestrel, uh, all you have to do is select it, and select whichever one you want, and then hit send profiles. Okay guys, this is worth the admission right here. Uh, first thing you need to do is make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on on the Kestrel Elite. And then I'm going to open up the Kestrel Link Ballistic app. Okay, I'm going to do a device selection. It already sees the Kestrel. I'm going to click on that. Now I'm going to go to Gun Profile Management. And you see this blue uh, Bluetooth symbol right here? That means we're connected. So let's go into Ballistic Screen. Okay, you can see that there's no uh, elevation or windage correction yet for the yardage I have in here for 736 yards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these profiles and I built them on the phone. Get that last one in there and then I'm going to click send profiles. They just start appearing like magic. Let me scroll down here to gun, and you can see them come in. Just like that, I just put everything I had on my phone into the Kestrel. And you can do it the opposite direction too. You can wipe out the phone and then hit Get Profiles and it would take it from the Kestrel and put it into the phone. It's a really, really cool setup. All right, well that does it for gun profile management with the Kestrel Elite. Uh, we're gonna try to do a trajectory validation video with that in the next couple of weeks. I have a couple of gun builds going on right now, and if I can get the loads figured out, we're gonna pull that one off. Uh, we also need to talk about the weather screen, just using it for a generic weather meter, and we're gonna dive right into that whole link system where we're going to mount the, the Kestrel Elite on a wind vane on a tripod and use it wirelessly with a phone. I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know how much uh, be able to use that for hunting around here, but uh, it's a pretty cool capability. Uh, if you have time, go check out my website, panonprecision.com. I did a full review on the Kestrel Elite. As always, please subscribe to my channel so you don't lose track of the videos. Until then, thanks for watching. See you next time.